Don't they stars miss pantalones? I should have known. <laughs> and I'm Shaw. I'm Pixel. And I'm Rex. Today's just well, a bit more Resident Evil 4 remake. Yay! Welcome back to a, another wonderful episode of Gaming with Shala. And here we have Rex with us. Yay! Hello! Closest to Rex, medium distances. Hello, I'm Shal. Uh, I'm Pixel. And I'm Rex. Thank you for watching another lovely episode of Gaming with Shala. We have Rex featured with us. Feeling better. Peace. This is the episode where I just keep on singing Creek Valley. Bad news. All we've done is buy you some time. No buzz gets in the fat, fat mama cast. Don't worry about me. Ashley is the priority. In that case, that's why. Mr. Kennedy. Ooh, look, it's a bad boy. Let us rescue the Princess Dulcinea. She got hurt herself. <laughs> hey, that was my dance. Gave me, hurry, I get it. Why help me, though? What's in it for you? I don't need to be suspicious. It's not heaven. So, uh, when are you two gonna smash? No. <laughs> Leon and whoever that guy is. Louis. Louis? Louise? Yep. Leon and Louise. Oh. Sitting in the trees. K I S S I N G. Oh, God. S M A S. No. H N G. Pretty sure you missed an A there. <laughs> S M A at eight. I would have said something else, but like probably not appropriate for YouTube. No, I missed an I, and I'll put myself in there by watching the whole thing go down. Leon and Louie sitting in a tree. S U C K I N. -T. There are enough moth. Mods that strip them of their attire. Mm. Oh. Y'all are horny. <laughs> Just have to say that. I've seen some of the mods. Y'all are horny as both. Capcom basically goes, "What? You can't have? You can't make our female characters?" Naked in the game you own? That's illegal. Wanna give, wanna have whatever mods you want to give to Leon? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> we don't care about our male characters. That's basically accurate. Which, I. Uh... Uh, Last thing I ever want oh. to see in a Resident Evil game is just like a. A modded new zombie just running at me. I'm good. <laughs> at that point, I'd be walking new into a church and praying for forgiveness. <laughs> but I have been scarred, Lord Jesus. Someone who used to work for Umbrella. So you heard, huh? Umbrella's done you. You don't need to worry about them anymore. You didn't answer my question. What are you after? Something like that. Huh. So I forgot to put the TNT in the TNT box. Hey, since when was this a dead end? This used to lead to the exit. I could turn the volume up just a hair about getting double audio. Oh, that would have been too perfect. 
instead of M4, it should have been C4. Looks like we've got company. What do you want to do? Thank you. M1, A1. Thousand miles of that one. Barrel right there. Yeah, well, we're gonna wait to get the chainsaw back in closely to it. Believe me, I know. Hmm. Over here. Nice one. Really stuff. Huh? <laughs> it literally sounds like they're saying eat my a-hole. It's a lot more cult like than that, unfortunately. If memory serves. But I'm not the only one who thinks that you are CSC. Not too fluent in it, of course. Yep. See? I'm not saying that's what they're saying, but that it sounds just like they're saying that. What I think they're saying. Trying to shoot it. Shoot the projectiles out of it. Just burn already. Drop the uh down light into in, at least near the fire. The second that I fire it would explode. Imagine if Leon went in with his full kit to every situation. Oh. <laughs> with the, the guy from the, the one in the back friendly fired the other one. Chainsaw grandma. I just thought of the dumbest idea for him to the lap. Okay. Hmm. Chainsaw grandma. Make one of those uh, mascot horror games. Did you guys hear about the Steamboat Willie game that's coming out? Horror game? Yeah. Yeah, Pink Station Origins. Sorry. Yep. Oops. You act. You actually want shit like that? There. That was not even like, and that was announced not even a day after Steamboat Willie became or went into public domain. Well, everybody saw that it was making their things. Just holding back on the announcements. Mm hmm. They see they had to change the name. Mm hmm. Hey, uh, Infestation is a good name, but that's a dog whistle. Oh! Yeah, Infestation 88. Mm hmm. Looks like we've got company. What do you want to do? Do you know, uh, why? Mm -mm. It's, uh, I think it's like the 
14 words, 88 uh, syllables. Meow. Like, white uh, supremacist thing. Ah! It's on, hey. it's all gone at the same time. Hey, it's on fire, so it's. that's. good. Oh. Why isn't that exp Never mind. I was that going to ask why it didn't explode in his hand when you knocked him down, but never mind. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Are you trying to kill me? Look, I was you're just not wearing you. you're not wearing security armor. How did you take a point blank bullet? There's more of a suggestion to you. It's not a charisma saving throw, or is it? You rescinded that guy's standing privileges. That guy missing an arm. Yes. Why isn't he dead yet? <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, dude, you gotta stop beating me with the bullets. Eat them all. Gotta eat them all, gotta eat them all. Pokemon! Yeah. Oh, speaking of Pokemon, did you see Pal World? Yeah. As Ark and... and Rust-style things? If I pick it up, I, I'm picking it up on Steam. Seems to found a whole lot of things recently. Yeah. How dare, how dare you like this adult version of the thing you liked as a child? How dare you? Come on now. I always find it funny when people act like they have a say in what we can and cannot like. Yeah, when it comes to like video games or movies or when some random person tells you how dare you like this new iteration of something that you know we liked as a child like as you said I just really want to just fire back and say uh so funny that you think you have a, you have a say in what goes on, what I do with my life. Yep, run away! Do you think Ash Williams would survive a Resident Evil game? I imagine he would. It's Ash Williams. Yeah. Well, uh, it was that one uh, Resident Evil clone that they did at that time. They also have a Resident Evil chapter in Dead by Daylight. You've been streaming that on and off? Oh yeah. It's a lot of fun and you know me, I love horror. Love horror. I don't... I think Mortal Kombat didn't go far enough when they added Freddy and Jason. I would have loved to see them add Chucky. Oh, did you hear that they finished filming Mortal Kombat 2, the movie? And uh, they're explicitly being released this summer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I was thinking that if they added uh, Chucky, you could get it. Chucky and Dead by Daylight? No, uh, in uh, Mortal Kombat, you uh, could be, uh, the Yoda. They added Chucky into Dead by Daylight too, but you know what's so funny? Mm -hmm. I remember playing against a guy who, who had the DLC. 
as he was chasing people around as Chucky, you know, the doll. Yeah. And the thing with the killers in the game is, like, after they, they strike you down, they press a button to pick you up and throw them over your shoulder, right? Yeah. So, like, I was laying there, and Chucky was, like, right next to me. I was like, oh, what's this little guy gonna do? All of a sudden, the spirit of Charles comes out of the doll and just picks me up and throws me over my shoulder. And I'm just like, well, fuck. <laughs> Throws you over his shoulder. Over so what they do shoulder. in the game is they throw you over their shoulder, you know, trying to um, put the thing about the killers. Okay, when a killer in the game strikes you down, they pick they can pick you up, and then you have to go all the way over to a nearby hook, yeah, and they hook you on it. They they trap you. And the object of the game is for survivors to escape killers. By doing these little puzzles like fixing generators, fixing generators, opening doors, opening escape doors, escape yeah. hatches, all that. I, I know how. Uh, while Friday trying to survive. The, I know how the Friday the Thirteenth game plays. Kinda, but kinda. Wait, did wait. that one come out first? Wait, Friday the Thirteenth came out first. And wait to that. make we have that game. Too. Way to make the comment sections lively. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, the mechan like it, you're ba it's basically like it's similar but not okay. Isn't that the isn't mechanics it of it? Every movie studio at this point is just looking at their properties, like okay, which can we, which uh, movie can we make a uh, Friday the Thirteenth? Please no, okay. please don't. Not another. I can't. Oh. The, the 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 last Friday the Thirteenth remake that they did back in two thousand nine sucked. Oh, I meant like which one? Oh, in other words, what can we make Dead by Daylight? Because they ooh, you know they, already, they don't have Jason and and Dead by Daylight yet. I think. No. They don't even have Freddy Krueger. They have Michael Myers. Oh, you know who they should add? That robot. Furby girl. And you know what's funny? They added Samara from The Ring in there too. You know that robot made by the uh, toy company? Megan? Yes. Oh god. Megan versus Wednesday, at Wednesday Adams in a dance battle. There is a video like, of that on YouTube, that's why. Let's see. Yeah, here I thought I was being original. Ooh, quit, try quit trying to steal other people's ideas. So they, uh, they, it's not to say that they have that, uh, Texas, uh, chainsaw game. Oh yeah, that's pretty fun. <laughs> that's pretty much the same thing, too. And so there's going to be, a uh, attack of the killer plants from outer space. Nice. Why? That's dead by daylight, so successful. But, like, just because, like, I think it's more because killer clowns from outer space gained a cult following, more of a following recently, and I remember as a kid watching it and just thinking it was such, well, it was, it wasn't scary, it was like funny. Yeah. Is it meant, I don't know if it's meant to be funny. I'm it, pretty, I'm pretty sure it is. Ow. Some people found it funny, but certain people, a certain group of people found that horrifying. Oh yeah, they're... That's normal. That was like a couple years after the first hit. Concept. What is the fear of clowns called again? There's a word for it. Chat, what's the, uh, can you, if you can comment, type in the comments the, uh, the word that is basically the definition for the fear of clowns. Or I can just Google it later. <laughs> oh, you did right now. Only one person has to be on the wheel. Rip my inbox. Or... Cholrophobia. Cool report. Cool Cholrophobia, wow. Cholrophobia is the 
is the is the fear of clowns. Wow. Can you imagine how how they all reacted to when the it re reboot remake came out? I wonder if there's a word for the fear of stupidity. Illithophobia. You know it's funny, Hollywood has always like or for the not always, but for the most part, have always painted this picture of clowns as people, as these type of people who have just hit rock bottom, you know, just life's going down the drain type of people, just miserable, and the only thing they can do is try to get other people to laugh, or either treat them like trash, you know. I've never had a deep-seated fear of clowns. Me personally, I just think, I just feel, I just feel bad for him. <laughs> Should make quick work of that dead end. That's second. Yeah, I think uh, John Wayne Gacy uh, really to uh, put the, made the fear of clowns more well known. Huh. Wait, John Wayne Gacy was the. Isn't he the one who dressed up like a clown? I think so. Oh my gosh, uh, if there's anything I fear, it's a fear of, I mean, he might have. I don't know that much about serial killers. I only know names and sort of backgrounds, but like, I've never really been into. I don't think any of us have ever watched, uh, a True Crimes podcast. Oh, probably. I... One of my exes did that. Uh, the only thing I fear is stupid people. And I I found the word for it. Illithiophobia. What the hell? After you, I so Lithiophobia? Lil Lilith. What? Oh, that's a big boy. Come here, boy. Now you know me. <laughs> oh, there's two of them. Where's Even the, better. Where's the dog when you need him? Wait, is there two or is there three? No, there's two. Okay. Uh, there were three, but the dog, it, but the dog you saved from the wolf trap. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot to do that in the VR version. That's probably why I failed miserably. Where's that? Wait, where's the dog? Oh, he, you know, he's macking on his bitches. <laughs> There's a... Second, have you ever uh, watched the uh, JoJo Flex? Uh... I've only watched the Abridged series so far. Yeah, Team Four Stars. So I know the gist of it. But... Yeah, we see a uh, uh, frame of Iggy and his bitches. I oh the dog. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't they reference that in the Abridged series too? Uh yeah. Yeah. But. Uh, that's a joke from the thing in the other Isn't JoJo more of a vampire comedy? Well, I mean, that's that's a horror action series. Uh, Dio, it turns himself into a vampire because he was a poor boy adopted into a rich family and he just hated his new, newly adopted brother. Isn't Jojo a vampire? No. No, he is a common user, which is basically a Sun vampire sa slaying life force. Sunshine Pumpkin. 
So like a damp here. No. Oh. Shit, uh, whole idea of a uh, Amon is that it heals and fights vampires. Oh, okay, gotcha. Well, so it's the uh. Move, uh, move. Well, that's at least for the uh, part. Something tells me that y'all would have way too much fun with the VR version of this game. So I know there's DLC if you get the game digital, where you can also play the VR mode. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh. I'll lend in my headset so we can do his custom series shellish side quest. Yeah. But you would have to get a PSVR 2 or a PSVR 1, either or. Uh, Jojo is a, has a different parts. Mm -hmm. So, part 1 is Dracula. Oh, Part okay. two is Indiana Jones versus uh, vampires, essentially. Part three is around the world in eighty days, sort of. Huh. Uh, part four is Twin Peaks. Part five is a uh, mobster story. Part six is a jailbreak story. Part seven is Cowboy time. Okay. Well, that's sort of like a, a great race across America. Part 8 is. Twin Peaks Part 2. And Part 9 is. Uh, set in Hawaii. Uh, oh. That's like. Only like 10 chapters out so far. Oh, gotcha. That most recent one being Brit. Yeah. Have you guys seen the new. I mean, I know me and you have, but. Shala, have you seen the new Bleach animes? Uh, that came out? The, the most recent. Year, blood war. Yeah, the most recent adaptation. Uh, not yet. Oh, dude, it's so good. It actually broke Frontierall. It broke me emotionally, because, like. So much of it just like changes, like it changes literally everything we knew about the original, you know, story. You might want to run. I'm trying to. Oh, Louis. Wait. Louis is going to find a magnet, isn't he? Uh, no. Yeah, not really. That would have been so much better. Oh. Oh, that's... That's more brilliant. Is that a bomb? A big old... Bone door... Uh, dynamite. Ooh. Hold on, I gotta reload. He's the only one going any slow with that. Beautiful. Just as planned. Alright, let's finish this guy off. Alright, up we go. Yeah. Get circumcised. Oh, he's not dead yet. Spoke too soon. We're gonna need about 50 more things of C4. I want my mommy. Yep. Here it goes. It's uh, cold. Yep.
Now's your chance, I think. Maybe. Here it goes. Oh, you have to put in. Well, you have to be uh, standing on top of it. This is why kids need to play on merry-go-rounds and metal slides. Ooh, ooh, oh! Ah. So close. Wait, wait. Here it goes. Mm -hmm. Oh my ah. god! You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Now, no. Now we. Oh no, I think you have. Don't you have to throw him into the lava pit? What? That's the way to uh, do that. Deal with some of the original game. Still effective. Ooh. Like we could fire again. Like fire again. Be okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm done. What? No achievement for that? God, these are these things are fugly. Uh -huh. <laughs> I saw only a mother can love. Wouldn't want to smell his breath. My farts are bad enough, aren't they, love? Oh, don't even get me started. <laughs> and I sleep next to this man. Every, well, almost every night. Yeah, I wear, <laughs> I wear weird hours, so. Yeah, your parts are lethal. I was the oldest sibling, and I had... Nothing but giving your siblings. You think you think that uh, that fart spray that we used to sp that the kids of the '90s used to spray at each other was bad? No. <laughs> oh, remember that? Yep. <clears throat> Wasn't that uh, based on uh, patchouli oil? Yep. Yep. Ah. Just looking at the wall, like, come on, open. Uh, hey, a pallet jack. Yep. Was You're keeping those things cooped up down here too. In a store, in a place with pallet jacks, maybe more uh, aware of pallet jacks in video games. You see, we boys of the '90s didn't grow up playing with Barbie dolls and Tamagotchis. No, no, we had fart spray and GI Joe. And GI Joes had hair before Barbie ever did. That is Sucked not true. Time. That they were the first be... action figures with hair. Barbie came out way back in what? The 50s? I think G.I. Joe goes back to the 40s. Ah. There's no way because animation wasn't a thing back in the 40s, was it? Cereal boxes, the comics uh, on those. I'm talking days. about like cartoons and just we ride this thing. stuff. I mean, maybe it was. I'm not sure. Who are you the, I know that the first Japanese anime that came out that came out over like a hundred years ago. How old is Steamboat Willie? Hundred years old? Yes. Yes. It, actually, yeah, it is. Yeah. I'm talking about the kind of animation that like GI Joe was. The style of GI Joe. Oh, that was that came out in the '80s. Or no, sorry, they came out in like the 70s and 80s. Uh, like my mom's generation. The, the characters still existed. Like, there were still radio programs. Yeah. Oops! Uh, I think the, uh...
animation as uh, advertising, that sort of thing, really took off yeah. in the 80s after... It was, like, uh, after it... World War II, I think. By the way, 80s anime was lit. Yeah. Vampire Hunter D, Akira, Twilight of the Dark Master, Devilman. Uh. <laughs> But we don't talk about Devil Man. <laughs> Have you ever seen it? The original? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it on. I'm gonna wait until after we're done recording to explain it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's one of those things that makes the rounds. Devil Man crosses every single line that you don't cross. I was going to say that, uh, basically it's one of the things on Twitter that makes the rounds every so often, like, oh, why can't my name look like good cherry It's pitch. like, and a lot of it is just these people that have just discovered Devil Man and, like, watched it and then complained about how much it scarred them. Right? Oh. No, I was thinking the the Wee Oh the the on Twitter the thing that I'll make the rounds every once in a while is that people will take the cherry picked uh best animation from like the eighties and then complain that modern anime doesn't look like it even though you know yeah, and, and it's these kids that d just don't understand well, yeah, uh, how how things evolve. <laughs> in... uh, you know, uh, that anime was made during Japan's uh, bubble co economy. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, here's an anime, here's anime that made by movie studios with way much more time and money. And had to make way less episodes. Yeah. And what they need to understand too is that like anime back in the day is what made anime what it is currently. And like without that we wouldn't have the modern. I mean I'm sure we would in one form or another but it wouldn't be the same. And back in the day we didn't have all the technological advances we we have today that's really the big the biggest reason why anime looks so much different than its predecessor and that's just because you know different styles different techniques different our technology and honestly the cuphead explains it best have you ever played the game cuphead yes yeah. Cuphead was mostly hand drawn. Mm -hmm. There are still some attacks, like the pink attack, that, and and the weird ones that. Cuphead pays homage to like <laughs> original, Robert like 1920s classic Mickey Mouse, yeah, like Popeye, all that. Yeah. Pays homage to all like the. The Fleischer Wubba Hose era. Mm hmm. Uh, that type of uh, animation back in the day. Uh, and like Tom and Jerry. Yep. Yeah. I think the funniest thing to see is uh, you'll go online and there'll be, you know, some anime girl in a bikini and you'll see people reacting like it's such time like oh they they invented but of course you would look that, you would look that up chala yeah. <laughs> but yeah no this gen but like that's the funny thing too like is you don't see a lot like a, i personally do not see a lot of people complain about that but it's just because like this generation is described as like the horniest generation and the weird thing which is, is fine but like 
Because whatever, you're gonna, you're gonna, it's whatever, it's not my place to judge, but like, there needs to be, like, boundaries. And I don't mean to get political, but y'all are some crazy people. Or, it's the best, best way I've seen it, please, is that it's both the combination of the horniest and the most touched on. Absolutely no filter, too. The weirdest thing I've seen in terms of that is the whole there's the whole lab study going on with Gen C and Gen Alpha. They want to see normal, healthy, non-sexual relationships on mass. But define what they const. But like what? Here's what I would say. What? Do you constitute as a normal healthy relationship like are you talking traditional because the times have changed baby back and we got to get used to it back when tolkien was a writer uh, male friendships were allowed to be a thing i think oh. it's the uh it like and it's not just that like homosexuality as a whole has existed since the beginning of time yep And there's there's like plenty of evidence to su to support that, but like yeah, a lot of it was okay. I'm gay, but I'm like I still I don't mean to get political. I don't want this whole thing to be political, but like I have boundaries, I have standards, I have to. I'm not I'm not gonna go all out and be crazy and like. Be like, hey, I'm gay. Admire me or like notice me. But like a lot that's a lot of what I see. That's what Dylan Mulvaney does. If no one really is that big a fan of whatever Dylan Mulvaney chooses to identify. With. I think there's there's a big fan base for Dylan Mulvaney. But like the thing is, like, me personally, I don't care because like I don't care for... It's like good for you. But like... You're, you're not the first, honey doll. You're not. These young whippersnappers don't know their gay history. <sighs> Thing is, it's not a crime. Well, it should never be a crime to be... I mean, of course, there's got to be boundaries, and there's got to be lines that you don't cross. And I hope everybody understands what I mean. However, it should never be a crime to be gay, straight, whatever you are. <laughs> you know, it isn't a crime to be born. No, it's not. And they they treat it like it is, and people treat being yourself like a crime yeah. when really it's nobody's damn business that's that's the thing I think people need to understand it's like so what let people be people, people go but also we shouldn't put these types of people nobody like it doesn't it shouldn't matter where you're, you're gay or straight or lesbian bi transgender that's fine do you but we shouldn't put each other on a pedestal because we're all just, like, doing our own thing. We're all trying to do our own thing, live our own lives. Do. You know what I mean? People anyway, I'm so sorry. People, so why should it be? We're all equal. Love is love. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to turn this uh, session into a... What was the thing that... Avatar says. Hmm. What was that thing that Avatar from Helsing your Bridge says? Oh, I was chicken the forties, and I hate everyone equally. No. My, my pre, my preferences are beyond any, any mortal's understanding. So just no, it was something like privilege. Nobody can comprehend my sexual preference. 
So in other words, Miss Van Winkle, cha 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 check your privilege. I can do that too well. Excuse me, but I'm a fuck mothering vampire. There's a book I'm trying to No, read. I am not the voice of Alucard from Helsing Abridge. I just want to point that out there. Don't sue me, Team Four Star. I'm just an admirer. A fan. Who can do the Alucard voice as well as the actual voice actor? Call me. <laughs> Kidding. Do or don't. I do want to do voice acting though. We'll, we'll get you set up. Oh yeah, let's get on that lift. So how about them gas prices, guys? Gas <laughs> prices are going down around here. I know. Uh, it's so exciting to see. No, no. Oh. Give me a break. The bridge? No, the bridge. Not the bridge to Terabithia. I just, I hit? just, I just, uh, brought back some more ch of your childhood trauma. <laughs> Wait, you can drop down from there, yeah. I think. You are welcome. Uh, so the true fan so that wasn't a bridge, it was a rope swing. Everybody knows she, she died by accident. Yep. It was all, it was all, yeah. But still, that was traumatic. The way they did it in the movie. Here. <laughs> I think the book's even more. Oh, it was it was so sad. Yeah. Like you can get away with stuff in books more than you can with movies. Well, one thing to describe a girl dying. If Remember when you about... asked me? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. You know that was my whole thought. Oh. Uh, but uh, you remember Pixel when you asked me what the what the inspiration for my book series was, and I told you it was religious trauma. <laughs> yeah, we we were talking about the how the Binding of Isaac was made because someone wanted to deal with their own religious trauma because they were the same creators who made Super Meat Boy. But yeah, my book series like pretty much. You know how we were talking about, you know, yep. doing things that you don't know or you don't mean to make people upset about? Yep. That's one of those book series. Uh, Pixel. Yes. It's a book that I'm thinking of, but I can't remember it, its name from the like me. about the, uh, there's a win by Virginia Woolf. Mm. About the guy who, like, becomes immortal because Queen Victoria uh, essentially tells him to, and then like, partway through the story, he becomes a woman. Huh. Uh, was it called Miss Dalloway? No, it's not the one I'm thinking of. Downtown Abbey? No, I'm kidding. Yeah, it's, um, <laughs> like a 1900s book. Thing. The Crown? It's like an old war. Uh, Pride and Prejudice? No, I'm kidding. The story... Oh. Oh. Yeah. A Room of One's Own? No, the... the, the Tagnus has like a name that starts with an L. Let me see. I just looked up Virginia Wolf books and I was looking down the list. Did y'all see the new Minecraft enemy? You said the the breeze. Is it between the acts? No. The letters of were no three guineas. No. A haunted house and other short stories. No. Monday or Tuesday. No. The common reader. No. Blush. 
No. Night and day? No. To the lighthouse? No. Are you sure it's Virginia Wolf? No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say Wednesday after saying Monday, Tuesday. Saturday. Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Great segue. <laughs> Oh, speaking of which, I think Chris Pratt's trying to assemble a pentagram of Lego characters of his of himself. Oh, whatever. <laughs> he only needs one Great. more. What's what is it with these kids and wanting to worship Satan these days? Something something Illuminati something. I don't know. No, that has nothing to do with the Illuminati. No, I was right. I it think was people are just sad. Book. It's, uh, well, it's called Orlando. I, uh, we literally... <laughs> they, they sound like a You focus with the bugs to heal it. Oh, true. But, uh, God. But, uh, Explosion! All over your face. Also, think of, uh, have you ever read the, uh, the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen books? I have not, but I've seen the movie. The movie was, was absolutely fire. Yeah, the movie... I remember when I saw, I saw that movie when it came out in theaters. <laughs> the movie and the, uh, the book are very different. Yeah. Because, uh, in the book it's... They have a the climax of the first one is in against uh, Moriarty. It's against uh, Why risk your life like this? Uma Chu and Moriarty. Hmm. They should make a movie. Another movie. Hmm. But who would who would do Sean Connery's bit? Because Sean Connery is dead. Unfortunately, R.I.P. Phenomenal actor. I know that, but still, Maybe they just to to make it sound hot and... Absolutely not. No. <laughs> okay, here's how I would make a... A... A Doctor Who style thing. Trust, just trust, follow me on this. Make it a two-parter. Everybody say goodbye, Louise. You made it all these Bye, days. Louise. You know it means we're almost... Almost what? You really asked almost what after he just got stabbed? He... The, the blade didn't go all the way through it. But it was clear. You could tell that he just got stabbed. Major Krauser? What the hell? Why? Covering stolen goods. And killing a few rats along the way. Easy work. Leon beats Major Crowther. Major Crowther push. Are they? Uh, Major Crowther pushes boulders around. So not good. You remember the the quick time of that mm -hmm. um, first game? Yeah. Yeah, I changed it in the game in this game. Is he isn't Agent Krauser infected too? Uh, yes. That's what I figured. Uh but not with the same last problem. And isn't the reason why Leon doesn't get infected is because his blood is like the cure? When... This is nothing to do with them. I'm a free man who made a threat. Right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. So no. <laughs> Major, you're not thinking straight. So they took the cook time of that and turned it into a slap into a slap fight with knives. Why would you work for these freaks? I am a view for 
I don't want to go through the same more than I have to. Operation Javier. Operation Javier. My entire unit wiped out. The fact he jumps over you like that. He's like that one caveman from Samurai Jack. The one who teaches Jack how to jump good. Uh, gotcha. Uh, uh. Is he just spawning loot knives or... I bleed knives. Ooh. And then... Hey. Enough play, rookie. You haven't changed a damn bit. What a disappointment. One for the road. Respect. Respect. And, and he apparently keeps the lighter in the subsequent games. Yep. As a reminder. Yep. Leon Kennedy versus Fist of the North Star. Could you imagine if like Leon used the same used Lu Louise's lighter or like his last stand? If that ever happens, one of these days he's got to he's got to like just, just like you know pull a solid fall snake. Off the face of the earth. Ooh, pull a solid snake, grab some hairspray, lit light the lighter. You know what I wouldn't mind seeing now that it's kind of like a current theme. I wouldn't mind seeing a next generation Resident Evil game. Next generation of survivors. I'd be cool with it. Resident nice Evil kids? No, no, obviously not. But like, I would want to. Well, eh. Now that you mention it, it, it so, does seem pretty stupid. So, but okay, how about this? Uh, wait, they make a game where it focuses on characters that we've never seen before. That's when I said that. I was thinking of the uh, the combat kids from. The recent more combat move games. Oh yeah, no. Like yeah. Like Cassie and Cage's kid. Or is he not straight? No, I mean like one. Leon or one of the major characters just finally like decides, you know what, I'm going out with a bang. So this other character comes in that you know nobody knows about that is pretty much like the all the prince oh. reference yeah kind of yeah a virgil pretty much yeah 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 imagine that kind of game you know i'm just saying baraka and smoke wind up to working together baraka does his last stand and smoke does the whole like that, that kind of concept, shit. but like with a Resident Evil game. Yep. Mm. And it's just Leon throwing, throwing the torch to someone, or like yeah, just passing on the torch. Leon or like goes, Dante from DMC. <laughs> Leon goes into therapy for his PTSD, and. 
Leon Beach vacation. Mm -hmm. That's it this episode, shall we? Thank we you shall. for watching another lovely episode of Gaming with Shala, featuring Rex Dubois. And Shala. Any other social links y'all want to plug? Go ahead and follow my VR channel, Rex Dubois VR. Link will be in the description. It's just Shadow of the Pony. Link also in the description. If I remember. And if they and if he doesn't remember, I'll put it in myself. Thank you for watching and have a lovely day, afternoon, or morning, whatever time this finds you. Thank you and bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.